Hello, and welcome to another post from Dr. Blake's Healing Soul. I'm Dr. Blake, and I'd like to discuss this uh, typical orthotic device that's designed for someone who is an over-supinator, someone who what we call is laterally unstable, or in some uh, circles, an under-pronator. This is a person who tends to roll his feet to the outside, making uh, it easy for them to sprain their ankle. Uh, if you're an over-supinator, you can easily uh, have problems with chronic uh, outside foot pain, uh, perineal tendonitis, chronic ankle sprains, uh, outside knee pain, including iliotibial band tendonitis. Actually, you can sometimes have jamming of the inside uh, of your uh, knee joint. Uh, you can have uh, lateral hip pain also related to uh, um, iliotibial band syndrome. And you can get sacroiliac joint uh, jamming, uh, which is a really common source of lower back pain. So this one motion can be uh, a common cause of many injuries and many pain syndromes and it's important to have an understanding of how to design an orthotic device for this. Of course the shoes are important so if a shoe is a an anti-pronation shoe or, or, or sometimes a stability shoe and you add an orthotic device to it sometimes that makes you laterally unstable also and sometimes the shoe itself forces a patient who uh, may have uh, uh, loose uh, ankle ligaments from chronic sprains or uh, bow-legged, which is also called tibial varum, to roll outside. Uh, or the shoe may just be broken down when you wear it to the outside. And, and this lateral instability or excessive supination can be difficult to work with. So I, I want to show you um, eight of the top uh, orthotic modifications that we use. In this patient we've used seven uh, of those, although the eighth one can be added at the time of dispense. So this is a, a patient in our clinic and this orthotic will be dispensed next week for them for over supination. If we first look at the, um, the uh, what we call positive, the lateral arch here um, is is very high. So if we put it at an angle and you look at the lateral arch, you can see that 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 outside arch is going to be very, very high against the foot and, and give a lot of support to that outside. You can actually, uh, as a lab uh, tech, uh, round this corner, which is also done in in the in this area to make it grab the foot a little bit easier. The beast is the lateral Kirby scythe. It's actually built into the cast and the uh, the flatter part of the outside heel uh, cup is uh, curved so that it will grab the foot more than than uh, standard. So so B represents actually a, a um, artistic design where the, the, the foot is uh, grabbed better around the lateral uh, heel cup. Then we go back to the orthotic. We have uh, number C, which is a, a deep heel cup on the, on the outside. So you can see the heel cup, uh, both the arch side, which is called the medial side, and uh, the outside of the heel cup, which is called the lateral side. And we try to keep that very high, sometimes up to 25 millimeters, um, and to make a very deep lateral heel cup. That heel cup can be extended all the way up into the lateral side of the midfoot, around the cuboid and fifth metatarsal base, and that's marked on this uh, on this uh, orthotic as uh, number D. So that represents keeping that, that lateral um, uh, aspect of the midfoot, called a lateral flange, uh, relatively high to brace the foot from 
rolling outward. And then the uh, E is marked on the, the lateral side of the, um, of the, of the post. Uh, the post is typically ground with uh, motion into it, but when you have an ex ex excessive supinator, uh, you keep that flat. So there, when the patient lands on the ground, there, there's no wobble from the post, uh, and it's harder for them to roll out. Uh, the F is a, an extension that we put on the orthotic uh, that goes, it's sort of a, a lateral arch fill, and it's called a Denton modification after Dr. Jane Denton, who originally described it. And it's, it just uh, increases the surface area uh, of the um, lateral side of the, of the orthotic to grab the foot even, even more. It makes a huge difference. I'm always adding these to patients who don't have lateral uh, uh, stability, uh, sometimes to their old orthotic. This can be sometimes the only thing I can do in the office when they bring in an old orthotic, and it can work extremely well. When, you, um, when you're dealing with a supinator, you want to make sure that your width is a little bit narrower, and that's the G, deciding on the width. So the, the line that you see is the, the standard width of an athletic orthotic in my, my hands, uh, because I wanted to sort of de-emphasize the inside arch and emphasize the outside arch, I decided to go ahead and um, uh, leave it a little bit more narrow. So there'll be a little bit less uh, uh, anti-pronation and a little bit more uh, anti-supination. And then the H, finally, is the area that's up here. Uh, that uh, is what we call the forefoot extension. You can add extensions into the top cover on the lateral side of the foot that will grab the foot a little bit more. You can put a, uh, a wedge effect. You can extend it just under the metatarsal heads or all the way to the end of the, um, of the, uh, uh, of the foot itself. Uh, this actual top cover needs to be trimmed to the size of the shoe when the patient uh, comes in. So if you, if you look at this pair of orthotics real quickly, uh, you know, from uh, the, the back here, you can see the high heel cups. You can, you can look at it and, and see that the outside arch is almost as high or is as high as, a, as, as the inside arch. So you're sort of... Uh, you have to go with the shape of the arch, um, and and this is a foot that has what we call a forefoot valgus or plantar flex first ray. So it's a type of foot that works well with this uh, foot. Uh, in patients who have forefoot varus or more neutral feet, then you uh, can't do such a high lateral arch support, and you have to go with higher flanges, higher heel cups, uh, uh, more f extensions, uh, uh, et cetera, to, uh, to help you. So you go with whatever the patient gives you, and, and I definitely love when a patient has a forefoot valgus versus a, uh, a forefoot varus when I'm trying to stop lateral instability in the design of the orthotic device. So I hope this is real helpful uh, at explaining what goes into designing an orthotic device to help with the uh, lateral uh, instability problems so that we can, uh, you know, really support this outside edge, blocking the foot from rolling into a supination direction. Thank you, and uh, have a good day.